Hi guys, welcome back to this lecture. It will be a, a great lecture, and uh, we will talk about uh, how you can uh, perform the, the RBD mirroring. Okay, so between two sites, uh, if we suppose that we have your site A and your site B, you suppose that this cluster A, for example, is your production uh, cluster, and this one will be your backup cluster. Okay, so that means that we can have your, your company can have a data center one and the data center two. The, this the, this data center one is your your production data center, and uh, this one, this second data center will be your recovery plan data center or your backup data center or any anyway. Okay, so what we will do in this lecture, we will configure a pool that will be replicated to the second to your backup uh, data center. Okay, we will perform what is called. A one-way replication. That means that whatever data will be written in this primary cluster or your cluster A, this data will be replicated on the cluster B directly. Okay, so in real time, this data will be replicated in the cluster B. This is a replication scenario for one-way replication. That means that when you write data on on the cluster A, this will be replicated on the cluster B. There is another scenario where there is double double uh, double way or uh, two-way replication simply. Two replication is, is involved where you can write on both way. Data can be worked on the set, set uh, from set from the cluster A, and you will be replicated on the cluster B, and uh, vice versa. And when you re re when you write data on the cluster B, it can be re replicated on the cluster A. Uh, A. That is the that is the two way replications. Okay, two way replication. So in this lecture, we only configure the one way replication. Okay, and uh, the two way replication follow the, the same, same principle. So let's go ahead. So next step, uh, the first step, the first thing to do is uh, is to check out the status of your cluster uh, of both cluster. Because here you have the cluster A, okay, and the cluster B. This one is your cluster, your production cluster. We suppose that this one will be your your production production cluster, okay, and uh, this uh, this one your production cluster, which is here, and uh, the second one will be your your backup cluster, okay. So let's go back here, yeah. So be careful when you see, you see the above screen, okay? I do that not lost to you, but I hope that you will follow the, this way. Okay, so first of all, we will check out the, the first thing to do is to check the health of your cluster, the buff cluster. Okay, so we have the, the buff cluster uh, uh, is on the healthy state. Okay, next steps that we have to do is recreate two pools. Okay, to configure the two the one way replication, so we have got to create the same pool on the both sides. Okay, so we really have to create the same pool on the cluster A and the, the another pool on the cluster B, and of those two, two pools will be replicated. The configuration will be will be performed. Okay, so our first, the first step is create our, we create our two pools. The first pool on the cluster A, and the number of PG will be thirty two. Okay, depending on the size of the cluster and the number of ways that you have in, in your cluster. Okay, I will do the, exactly the same thing. So on the but let, let me finish. I will finish off the creation of this uh, cluster A, and after created this uh, pool, I will, I, you can assign uh, an application. You have to uh, to assign application to this uh, uh, to any pool. You already know that. Okay, it is the draw the, the command. This command of self was the dash uh, uh, application enable RBD on the, and the name of a pool followed by the type of application. Okay, but let me we can go also in within the simply you can go within the the self uh, orchestra top to do everything here. Yeah, I'm sure you do everything going with the within the self cluster, self uh, ADM uh, orchestra top. Okay, so the, our pool has been created successfully and uh, we sign up the application. Uh, RBD application to this pool. We will do the same thing so to the cluster, uh, our backup cluster. We will create also the same pool within this cluster. Okay, so exactly we have to do the same thing here. Yeah. We create the same pool there. And we have the same characteristic to this pool on the cluster B also here. Yeah, we sign up the, the application so RBD. Okay, as I did. Next step. The next step, okay, done. Next step that we have to, to do is uh, from your, how can I say it, uh, in your production cluster, we can uh, do, we have to do the following things, okay? We have to, you can create uh, a, your, your different block devices that we want to replicate uh, to the cluster 
uh, remote cluster because you can have pool and have many uh, block, block images simply. Okay, so we can have one pool and many uh, images within itself, and uh, this image, image or block device or will be can be mounted on in, into the visual machine. So you have to you create a you create a new image that will be replicated on the remote cluster. So let's create our new image within this uh, cluster within our cluster uh, of our production cluster, and I will enable some uh, uh, we will enable some features within for this image. I will create a new image named uh, image one, okay, within this pool, okay, and I will enable uh, this feature. This feature permit uh, will permit uh, this one, uh, this replication actions, okay. It will be based on the, the image journal. When data will be right here, it, this information will be duplicated and replicated uh, remotely, simply. So if you don't, you, you don't enable this journal, this feature within this uh, image, uh, you cannot uh, successfully uh, uh, succeed of uh, this uh, ABD replication uh, configuration. Okay, so you can enable it uh, on the on each mid, or you can enable it uh, on the pool pool side. You have two ways to enable this uh, this feature. So let's go ahead. So done. And after after done that, next step we can uh, if you want you can check out the the content of your cluster. Just be sure that. Uh, Just be sure that uh, everything is okay. Replication, uh, yeah. So let me just clear a bit uh, this one, as I can see here. Okay, so let's go ahead. Next step that we have to do, simply on this uh, pool that you create, we have to enable uh, the, the, the pool mirroring on this uh, uh, pool, okay? So we have to enable this one. And we can achieve it uh, simply through this command RBD mirror pool enable RBD pool simply. Okay, so you have to enable the fact that uh, will be you can be able capable to uh, replicate it or mirroring this uh, the content of even this pool. Okay, so we can check again uh, the, the information to be sure that uh, this one has been done successfully. And let's pull uh, under the pool name. Okay, so now as you can view here. The mirroring state was uh, disabled right now. Uh, after done that, uh, now the mirroring primary is true at true state. Okay, so that's great. So let's go ahead. And still, in your after done that, still in this uh, cluster A or your production cluster, okay, you still you still stay there. The next step to do, we have to create uh, what is calling uh, the uh, what is calling the how can I see the the parameters of the bootstrapper resynchronizations. Okay. Let me just exit from there. So I will create a new folder that will permit me to uh, uh, to write the information, the encrypted information that permit has to perform the replication between both 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 cluster. Okay. So let me just create the directory, and after create this directory, I will mount this directory. Okay. Will contain will contain uh, information, including information that permit uh, permit uh, the both cluster to extend uh, uh, will that permit uh, cluster to extend uh, the, the information of the replication. Okay, just protect uh, that data replication between between the both sites. Okay, so first of all, I will uh, just create this uh, this file and I will mount it uh, mount it uh, to my uh, self, self, self demo orchestrator. Okay, and uh, from the orchestrator, I will uh, send the I will create a, uh, the, I will generate the bootstrapper information for the data for the cluster replications, uh, and uh, this information will be, be stored within this file within this uh, folder, and uh, this encrypted encrypted data or this uh, uh, this credential data for the for the cluster replication will be sent uh, to this cluster B simply. Okay, so let's go ahead. So now. This command shell, uh, CFDM shell mount, I will mount now this folder to my uh, container or my orchestrator or my MGR uh, container. Okay, so I will mount it within there and I will generate that data. I will, and I will, after mount it, I will go within this folder. This command permits me to jump within this, uh, this, uh, within this uh, uh, orchestrator and in the same way also mount this uh, folder. Great. Now am I, am I within this, folder, this uh, orchestrator and in the same way this. Uh, this folder has been mounted within this uh, container. Okay, so now what I will do is uh, to generate uh, is to generate uh, boost, uh, information that permit me to synchronize the data between the, 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 this both uh, cluster. Okay, 
So let's do that. I will do it over the command. Let me just make it simple, keep it simple for you. Okay. Here is the command. It is RBD mirroring pool per peer bootstrap creator site name for I will create I will generate the bootstrap the information for replication and this information we have some parameters. I have to specify the name of the cluster. Here, for example, some extensions. You can choose any, any name that you need. But this bootstrapping or this mirroring will concern of this pool. Okay, our pool, RBD, array pool. Okay, so let's do that. After done that, we can just uh, go back. I will just say, uh, um, let me exit from this container. Just be sure that this com the data has been successfully uh, right. Okay, so after our last last session of uh, the data has been generated and redirected now to redirected to uh, uh, to our container. Um, okay, uh, to our container. Yeah, we can check the content here. As you can see, it is created uh, data, but it is specific for 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 for, the, for each cluster. Okay, so this this mounting uh, folder uh, is, is directly linked. To this uh, external folder. Okay, so let me go. I will go, go outside. And let me just clear the screen and uh, you can do LL or more simply, um, you choose the mirror. Okay, yeah, and uh, the folder, the file will be there. Okay, simply, you can check the, the contents. Simply. Now we will send all this uh, data uh, within uh, the, to our uh, remote cluster. Okay. To achieve that, we have uh, several ways, but uh, we can also use uh, the rsync command to generate or to replicate data there. Simply. So let me uh, install it. The rsync command to package to permit us to use it and uh, synchronize the data from our block uh, cluster production uh, cluster. To the remote cluster simply so i will now send uh, this i will send this cluster this uh, file okay this file uh, which uh with my, my cluster my production cluster to the remote cluster simply so let's do that password yeah okay i got to also Install the rsync on the remote host also. So let's do this. Okay. Once done that, let's do it again. Great. Okay. There we go. So let's go ahead. After done that, we will go back now. Your, the main actions has been done on the cluster A. You will now move our, our actions on the cluster B. Okay. So what it did, we did uh, at this time, so you create the pool on both sides. You we create an image on this image. You, you assign a, spe a specific feature for that image. And after that, you, you, you generate the different, uh, I can say, the credential that will permit to both cluster to ex extend data. Okay. And you also enable the RBD mirroring on uh, this image. Okay, on this specific image. So let's move on to the cluster B. On this cluster B, uh, what will be our action? So will be uh, this one. This file that has been sent. Okay, this file that has been sent from this cluster F to this cluster B. We will, will have to will have to mount it. it. It should be there. Yeah, it's here. Okay, we have to mount it to our. We will mount it to the to the self bootstrap node. Uh, to the self orchestrator, sorry, for to the self orchestrator, and uh, we'll uh, take into account of this information to permit uh, the, the data synchronization between the, the both clusters simply. Okay, so this is uh, this bootstrap token will be uh, taken into account in uh, this, cl this cluster, uh, this backup cluster. Okay, so let's go ahead. So, what you will do is uh, quite the same thing that we did before. We will just mount uh, this, uh, now we will mount uh, this folder, but uh, this, uh, this file will be mounted. To the within the our orchestrator simply okay if you go to the you will see the file okay as you can see here so now what you will do is a uh, quite uh, will be quite simple 
we will now apply uh, the, the the mirroring okay we will uh, apply now the, uh, the the different changer we will now the next step will be to deploy the, the diff this module let me show you this rbd mirror is a is a container that you should you have to de de deploy and after deploy this RBD, uh, RBD mirror com uh, container, you will now let you assign all this token to this RBD, uh, RBD mirror to enable all of this synchronization to take to take in account to be taken in account. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, let's, we do it right now. Let's go back on our cluster. Okay, so the new. Oh, well, just a moment, just the time, the time, uh, the time for us to let off the new demon to be deployed successfully. Okay, now it is it is running. It's here is the mirror app the mirror that has been deployed. It's running. Okay, one, two, one. Is that great? Next step, after successfully deploy our RBD mirror. You will now you will have to to assign all this information, this token to this uh, to this new RBD mirror. Okay. Let me show you. It will be a quite longer a quite long command. So let me uh, show you and uh, I will uh, comment it off for you. But let me just uh, increase all this view. Yeah. Okay. Here we have this. It's a quite a little bit uh, similar to the previous command uh, to on the side side A. But here we have some particular particularities, uh, which are this one. The site name, which will be, uh, I see it, uh, backup. Okay, you can change it if you like. The di direction is uh, from the cluster A to the cluster B. Okay, as you know, it is an um, one-way replication data. Okay, and uh, we want to do it, uh, we want to replicate that data to this. Uh, the target of this replication will be to this uh, pool. Okay, and uh, the token, the token, the replication token information will be uh, within this file, simply. Okay, so let's do this. So check a little bit of the last things. Great, so this I've been a taken account successfully. Now we have to verify that uh, everything uh, is uh, uh, okay. This is everything we have to verify that of uh, this uh, image, the image uh, from the site A has been uh, pushed. Okay, we have to be sure that now the image from the site A has been pushed. To the site B. Let me show. Let's see. see. Yeah. We will pull. Uh, let's pull uh, and uh, rep. The name of the pool is RBD. Uh, rep. Yeah. I think that I missed uh, something. So. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, I have just performed a mistake here. Yeah, okay, great. Okay, great. So that's not my fault. Yeah, so I will list all the content of this poll. Okay, of uh, this poll. You can see that the uh, image has been successfully replicated uh, in this uh, site B. Is that great news? That means that uh, our replication uh, is a uh, success. Okay, everything is working perfectly as expected. So, what else, what things else we can do is to perform more additional. Uh, Few ver verifications, okay. So our verification will concern of uh, first of all. We we'll go back on the set A and uh, perform our verification. Uh, just so uh, checking the. Okay, so now the RBD mirror pool info replications. We have this information uh, concerning our uh, our pool A. Okay, the direction is uh, takes only. Is that great? And uh, the the pure site, the pure site is of uh, the, the backup site. Okay, and uh, the, as we are on the cluster A, the site this, the primary site uh, the name is a uh, production production prod is prod. Okay, and uh, the pure site the pure site is the backup. Okay, and the, the direction for data replication is TRX takes. Okay. That okay, so for us, we have we can do the same things. We have to do the same things so for the 
Cluster B also you can check the same information. So okay, yeah. So the we move the pull up our site name is a uh, backup. Okay, and uh, the pure side is the pro uh, production side. So that's a uh, great. Uh, that means that uh, everything uh, is okay on this uh, pull this uh, site or uh, configuration, this uh, one way pull replication. So, okay, we'll do the same thing so on the pure. Okay, that was uh, great. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for paying attention. So. Okay, so thank you very much, and uh, we have to see you on the next lecture. And uh, for the, our next lecture, we will perform all this uh, this uh, testing. We will create uh, a, we will mount this image on a client one. We will write in, we will write some data here on the cluster A. a okay, and uh, in our cluster backup, we will retrieve, we will try to retrieve this data on the cluster B. Simply, okay. So thank you very much, and see you for the next lecture. And bye from now.